Elder Sign is a cooperative Lovecraftian card game that plays like a stripped down version of the classic game Arkham Horror. It has a quick setup time and an easy mechanic to learn, and it has a creepy Lovecraftian theme. In Elder Sign, players take on the roles of investigators who are trying to save the world by sealing away one of the Ancient Ones before it awakens completely, and defeating the monsters and other obstacles in the way through dice rolling. The game only takes about one to two hours to play, and can be played solo or with up to eight other people. At the beginning of Elder Sign, players are assigned a unique investigator. They gain the equipment associated with that investigator, and we decide which Ancient One we're going to be facing for the duration of the game. During the course of a turn, a player can go to the entrance of the mansion, or to one of the six location cards that are on the board, or to the other world. At the entrance of the mansion, players can heal themselves, they can go through the lost and found and look for equipment, or they can take the trophies that they've gained in other parts of the game to purchase allies, equipment, even elder signs. Now the core of the gameplay really occurs at the location cards, where players roll dice to try to complete the tasks that have been set out before them. Each task is represented by a horizontal row of icons that correspond to the die faces that need to be rolled in order to succeed. Now, there are multiple numbers of tasks at each location, and these can be completed in any order, unless a special icon indicates that you have to do them one after the other. Players begin with all of the green dice in their dice pool. They can also gain a yellow die or a red die if they have the items that let them do that. Once they complete a task on a location card, they remove the dice that meet the requirements for that task, remove them from their dice pool, and place them on the location card. Then they can try to complete more tasks on that location card, but with a reduced dice pool. If a player fails to complete any task, they can try again, but at a cost. One of the dice is removed from the dice pool. Uh, they can also take another die and keep the previous result using what's called their focus ability. Spells are really helpful here as well, as many of them allow you to retain yet another die result to try to get what you really need to complete the task. There is no set limit on the number of times that a player can retry a task, but because the dice pool is reduced each time, you will eventually run out of options. There is also a chance of being exposed to the card's terror result, which happens if you fail to complete a task and have rolled the terror face on one of your dice. This can cost you health or stamina, or put even more obstacles in your path. If an investigator cannot complete all of the tasks on a location card, they're going to suffer the penalty that's listed in the bottom left of the card. If they do succeed all of the tasks on that particular location, they take the location as a trophy. They also gain all of the rewards that are listed on the bottom right. At the end of each player's turn, the clock advances by three hours, and when it strikes midnight, a new event card is drawn. Now these events generally don't benefit the players, so the faster you complete the game, the fewer of them you're going to have to deal with. In order to win Elder Sign, players have to collect a number of Elder Signs equivalent to whatever is listed on the card that corresponds to the Ancient One that they're facing. If, however, the Doom track on that card fills up before they've done this, then the Ancient One awakens and a battle royale for the fate of the world begins. So Elder Sign is a really great game for people who love Arkham Horror but can't convince anybody to invest the six to eight hours to play that game. It's quick setup and basic strategy make it a really nice, fast Lovecraftian game. Unfortunately, the mechanic has been stripped down to the point where certain players who want a little bit more depth to their gameplay may find it lacking because at the end of the day, you really are rolling dice repeatedly to try to complete your tasks. Another issue that comes along with that is since this game is so stripped down from Arkham Horror, one of the things that we've lost is that feeling of imminent danger. Arkham Horror, you feel like you're going to lose at any moment and it's very tense. Elder Sign has lost a little bit of that feel. However, one of the things it has maintained is that great Lovecraftian tone, beautiful artwork on the cards. The game itself is really gorgeous to look at and great to read and there's a lot of flavor. 